In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Tyrese Halliburton and how you can play just like him. Obviously, he has a different style of shooting form than what you may normally see. I may break that down, but we are going to be breaking down what he does on the court to allow him to be successful in NBA games. Let's get down. Let's check out Tyrese Halliburton. Also, if you want to be able to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. And if you like this app, it's called Coach Lens. It's down there too. Okay, so first in this play, he receives that pass, and now this player is going to set a screen for Halliburton. At this time, he comes off of that screen, his defender goes underneath and gives him space. Something that Tyrese Halliburton does extremely well is shoot the three. Just the other day, he had nine threes in this single game. He pulls up, he has a ton of time to be able to set his shot, he's not rushed at all, and then he's able to get that shot off, and he's able to make that shot as we see right here. Okay, so now he's coming off of a pin down screen going into a dribble handoff. Well, after he gets that ball back from that dribble handoff, watch what he's doing. He's looking over his shoulder to look at what his defender is doing. He notices and recognizes that he's got the whole middle lane to be able to attack. These guys may be able to play help defense and he's got kick out options, so he might as well attack as long as his man goes over top of the screen. If this man goes underneath the screen, he's going to have to pull up for the shot or look for the roll man. However, at this time when he is attacking, he sees that his man goes over top of the screen, so now he is going downhill. When he goes downhill, watch what he does. Before this first defender, he picks up the ball. This is extremely important, because if he was to dribble again right here, this guy's stealing it. So, you need to pick up that ball early. You need to learn how to take big steps and keep that ball high. As long as you take big steps and you keep that ball high, it's going to be extremely Extremely hard for these help defenders to be able to steal that ball from you. So now when he's attacking that basket, he does bring the ball back down. He's trying to get more momentum, more power because now this man's dropped off. He's not contesting. He has potentially two guys who are going to potentially hit him in the air for the and one. When he goes up for that shot, he reaches out. He gets his arm and ball stretched out away from his body using his body as a screen against these two defenders so that now he has basically an uncontested layup at the rim. If you want to be able to get better layups in game like this one, you need to be able to practice outstretching your arm like this. There is very rarely any time you're going to have a perfect easy layup. You're always going to be trying to stretch out as we see Tyrese Halliburton do right here. So why are we putting so much time and effort into regular layups when we're probably not going to be doing them in game anyways. Okay, so one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of players on the defensive side will do, and even older school coaches will teach this too, and that is forcing a player to one side. Obviously, if you're trying to force them sideline, there's a strategy behind that. You want to trap them on the sideline, and I'm not saying don't do that, but if you are in a position, you should not be forcing or wanting the guy go middle. To me, this doesn't make any sense. This is the midline right here you should be trying to force some sidelines so you can potentially get a trap right here this guy can move over and help and you'd be totally fine however he allows this man Tyrese Halliburton to go middle this guy just slightly jabs just a bit to contest just a little bit so he forces Tyrese Halliburton to keep that ball a bit, a bit high like he does right there but Watch what he does. His gather was his left foot. This is technically his first step. After that first step, he takes a jump up into the air. He could technically go back on his left foot and be a little bit more stable in his shot, and that would have been his second step. However, this is legal at all levels. He takes that one step, and then he does that awkward floater. However, is this truly an awkward floater? In my opinion, it's not, because if we look at his actual arm, shoulder, elbow, in line with the rim, ball over top of the shoulder, makes the shooting triangle, that's going to be a straight shot no matter what. And he has a rebounder. So is this really a bad shot? No, it's not. It's actually a perfect shot, and he makes it too. Now, watch this amazing play. He attacks the rim. He sees a man lifting. At this time, he kicks that ball out to the man who is lifting from the corner up to the wing because anytime a player drives, guess what? If there's nobody here and you're here, you should be lifting. That can create a lot of open three-point opportunities for yourself if you are in this position. 
At this time, he relocates himself out towards that corner and the man he passed to drove to the basket. After Tyrese Halliburton passed that ball out, he relocated. Yes, I'm I'm repeating myself here. This is extremely important. By relocating after a drive, obviously you're not going to get your three seconds in the key, but what you're doing is now getting yourself open because your man's going to now no longer pay attention to what you are doing, which means that by just relocating out towards the perimeter, this man then, of course, in this situation, passed to the wing. Every defender is looking at this man. Guess who they're not looking at? The guy who hit nine threes the other day. Guess what? An extra pass to the man who hits the wide open three point shot. And guess what? It went in. Now in this next play, he tips a pass. Remember, tip passes are important. Just by getting a simple tip pass, even if it's not a turnover and steal by you, it could be a steal for your teammate or it could just mess up the other team's offensive rhythm to a point where they can't score. And that's basically what happens here. He tips the ball over to his teammate who gets the steal. The teammate who gets the steal feeds the ball back to Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese Halliburton then has an absolutely wide open basket to be able to score on. Just from a tipped pass, he was able to do this. By using these tips in game and in practice, you're going to get more playing time, but also it's going to help you score more points. I hope that these vi this video helps you win more games and score more points. If it does, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. I'll see you guys again in my next video.